is Edwin Huizinga, and I am the Academy Director for the Baroque and Classical Academy here at the Carmel Bach Festival. So I thought we have such an incredible group of international artists that come to Carmel Bach Festival every summer. How amazing would it be to also create an academy program where young artists and musicians that are still learning and still in school have the chance to work with them many if not all of these other incredible artists coming into this one special place for for one month in the summertime to study here and to work here and to play here and also enjoy the scenery of california for a whole month sounded much too good to be true uh, so my friend jimmy one of the other violinists and violists here and worked with uh, edwin i got a call from jimmy and jimmy was like hey do you want to spend the summer in carmel and well Jimmy called me one day and asked me if I wanted to spend a month in Carmel playing quartets and I obviously said yes. I think the Carmel Bach Festival is super unique in the vast range of stylistic approaches. We have a modern orchestra and a Baroque orchestra and everything in between. So for young artists and students, it's a really amazing way to see where they might belong or what they gravitate towards or what they love in, in these art forms. In a chamber ensemble like a quartet, you have a lot more leeway to make decisions for yourself. It's a combination of showing yourself, but also helping highlight other people. What's nice about the string quartet is that all four of us have the same amount of say in the final product. So the fact that we can work on Baroque HP performance, historical performance, and we can work on classical historical performance and period performance even in the Romantic era. And we have people that really specialize in all of those things at this festival is just super exciting for me. The other day we had the Academy work with one of, their, one of our continual players and read through a bunch of 17th century repertoire. I think it's been really nice to be surrounded by so many like high level musicians and, and kind of have a lot of people to bounce ideas off of. Um, and just being in this community at Carmel surrounded by a lot of uh, really amazing historical per performance musicians and uh, this has just been a great opportunity to uh, hear a lot of great music and play a lot of great music. One of the other things I'm doing with these young academy students and, and musicians is to talk to them a little bit about how, how they want to create a program, what repertoire they want to play. So we've been working on a completely wild variety of music, um, everything from the early 17th century to uh, later uh, 19th century, and working anywhere from Gottfried Finger to Mendelssohn. And then, of course, having giving them the opportunity to do public master classes, um, private coachings, working on individual repertoire, and communicate with the audience in, in ways that I think we have to do more of moving forward. Also, the audience is here. Like in master classes, they've been asking really great questions that really make you think about what you're doing and why you do it. I hope the academy students and quartet take away the opportunity that they've had to work together in a really concentrated fashion for an entire month. It's been lovely living with the string quartet. Uh, it was kind of like, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. Like we spend all day with these people and then rehearse all day, but it's actually been really lovely. So just having this opportunity to really consistently work with the same people gives us an opportunity to really develop our sound as a quartet. I mean, we're just doing everything under the sun that we can we're given the time here to explore this repertoire uh, and to rehearse it together. The biggest learning experience that we've had is just spending time together and, and discovering what it means to really be a, a quartet.